What's up everyone, it's Tin here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I will compare both Cursor AI versus Bolt.new. Which one is a better AI coding tool, AI coding assistant tool and why? Now I've used both of these tools myself and I also made a video on those tools specifically and individually on the channel. So you can check out those tools uh, and those videos on our channel. Now, when we're talking about both of these tools, first we gotta kind of go and let's go, let's first do the features, right? So in terms of cursor AI, primary use case is AI assisted code editing for complex applications and complex uh, web apps. So usually someone that is uh, already a good coder will use cursor AI. While on the other hand, we have bold.new, which is good for rapid prototyping and deployment of web apps specifically. So it's specifically for web apps, specifically for prototyping. So those are two key differences right off the bat. So you kind of know which one is for you and which one is not for you. Um, now I will just start here, uh, you know, uh, coding session just for you to, to kind of keep you busy while I'm talking about this. But uh, yeah, like ease of use, right? Cursor is moderate to challenging for experienced developers. Again, it's more so for experienced developers. While on the other hand, Bold.new is very beginner friendly. You know, I'm not a coder, but I use Bold.new several and numerous times. So I think Bold.new is definitely one of those that, you know, uh, shines in terms of the beginner friendly vibes, right? Now, in terms of customization, uh, Cursor AI is high, full code control with manual editing. Bold.new is low, so primarily generates code from prompts which is just that, right? And usually, you know, when you wanna fix a prompt or debug the prompt, it's going to be very, very hard to get the uh, exact prompt that you want. Uh, not prompt, but code, because it actually fixes in a very, very bad way. Most of the times it's not even accurate. So in terms of deployment right, on, uh, on cursor, the deployment is uh, obviously a manual, requires separate steps and platforms. On Bolt, it's one-click deployment, so it's much faster and much easier because it's just beginner-friendly. Um, in terms of code quality, uh, you know, um, inter so that's what I wanted to say, right? Cursor has high uh, code quality, it's suitable for professional-grade applications, while on the other hand, you know, Bolt.new has moderate, you know, great for simple projects. So you get the point, right, where I'm going with this. Bolt is more so for simple, for beginner-friendly, Cursor is more so for uh, experts and already people that are coding, which is really, really great. Um, and it, it's also much more harder thing to master in terms of like how to use it and stuff like that. Now, uh, in Cursor, you have multiple programming languages. In Bold.new, uh, it's basically a focus on HTML, uh, CSS, JavaScript technologies. You also have obviously TypeScript and, and stuff like that, but uh, you know, that's basically what you have. Uh, AI prompting in uh, Cursor, AI prompting, it offers context-aware code uh, suggestions. And in Bold.new, it's a prompt based with less cont contextual awareness. So uh, it doesn't really, it cannot read out of context. So it's very hard to actually go and build something great with Bold.new. While on the other hand, Cursor AI has that, um, you know, professional and much more uh, better context awareness. Um, in terms of uh, cursor, the learning curve is steep. Um, in terms of Bold.new, it's very low, right? Um, and ideal users, right? So let's say you're a user, you're watching this, you're maybe a professional developer, or you have a team, I would suggest cursor, much, much better. Uh, and uh, if you're a beginner, hobbyist with a rapid prototyping uh, skills, or you wanna you know, rapidly prototype a web app, and you're specifically focusing on web app, I would choose Bolt dot new now some of the pros right cursor ai has high code customization control great for complex applications supports collaboration high quality ai code suggestions um in terms of uh obviously you know uh pros on on bold.new it's extremely easy to use right it's one click deployment um you know ideal for quick prototypes and also minimal setup required um in terms of the cons Cursor AI, steeper learning curve, requires manual development. 
uh, steps and may be overwhelming for beginners. Again, as I said, this is much great uh, or much better app for professional developers and teams. And this is much better app for hobbyists and uh, you know rapid prototypes. So yeah, there is no clear winner here. It's just uh, you know who you're going to choose and why. It really depends on your use case. So again, Cursor AI, if you're an experienced developer needing full control and working on complex applications, maybe you're working in a firm, in a company, um, or in a startup, that's great. Um, and then bold.new, you can choose that if you're looking for speed, simplicity, and quick web app prototypes with minimal effort. So uh, that's pretty much it, what I would here uh, suggest. Uh, for those of you who are obviously new uh, on our channel, we made a bunch of other comparisons, Windsurf, Aid, um, Windsurf versus Cursor, you know, other comparisons. So you can kind of check those out on our channel as well. Hopefully this kind of gives you a glimpse, an image of what you want to do in terms of Cursor and Bold.new. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the uh, up and coming videos on our channel. Subscribe for more. Thank you guys for watching.